So now you got this pre-approval. They're pre-approved with you, and you got to call them every Thursday and answer the question, why buy now? So why should you buy right now? So here's what I think you should do. You get a piece of paper, and you draw a line down the middle. On one side, if they rent, you write tax savings. What's the tax savings of being a renter? Oh, I know, I know, I know. Zero. Forced savings. That's the amount that goes to principal of your payment. How much goes to principal of rent? Oh, oh, wait. I know, I know, I know. Zero. Appreciation. Average appreciation is 300000 or 3% in Sacramento. Average sales price is 600000 So 3% of 600000 is eighteen grand a year. That's about 1300 a month in appreciation. How much appreciation is there in rent? Oh, I know, I know. Zero. And I write them all down on the page just like that. And then I look at their loan and I open the amortization schedule and I add up all the interest and all the property tax. I add that together for the month. Okay. You paying attention? Yep. I'm not going to create a sheet for you or a video. I'm doing it for you right now. So all the interest on the loan in that month, all the property tax on that loan in the month and the mortgage insurance right now, add it together. That's probably around two grand for the average deal. $2,000. What's your federal tax rate? 38%. Cool. Let's go 25 because there's a standard deduction that gets that you won't, that means you won't get to take 100% of this benefit. So let's do 25%. That's $500 a month that you'll pay less taxes. Do you guys see it? Okay. Now, how much went to principal? Probably about 350 bucks, let's say 250. 250 bucks of your payment pays down your mortgage. I call that forced savings. It's my favorite kind of savings because it's hard to get to. You know that savings at the golden one where you can just go pull it out with an ATM card? I don't like that kind of savings. I tend to burn through that one. But the forced savings in my 401k in my house, it's hard to get to. It's easy for me to hold on to that for my retirement. Right? Is everybody worried about retirement? Am I the only one worried about retirement? <laughs> I'm worried about retirement. You think my clients are worried about retirement? Yes or no? Yes. 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 Do you think the loan officer on the phone's talking to them about their retirement? Nope. No. No. So 250 bucks is for savings. And then, you know, you can Google this at home, or I actually did it for you. And here's a handout of the average appreciation in Sacramento County for the last 88 years. It's 3%. So you're buying a house for 500,000. 3% is 15 grand a year. Let's round it down to 1,000 a month. Your house on average is going up 1,000 a month. Now, sometimes it'll go down and sometimes it'll go up five grand in a month. But on average, over 88 years, it's gone up a grand a month. So that's $1,750 a month better than renting for wealth building. That's why you buy now. And did you know that if you bought a house in California and you held on to it for at least 10 years that you've never gotten hurt? Did you know that? Like if you bought at the peak of all peaks, 10 years later, it was the same or higher every single 10 year period. So tell me again, why are you looking at buying a house? How long do you think you're going to stay in it? Three to Marry five. the house, date the mortgage. Marry the house, date the mortgage. If rates go down, you'll refi and your payment will go down. Divorce the rent. Okay. Date the mortgage is what I said, but okay. Date, date the rate. Yes, date the mortgage. So now you go over this piece of paper with them. You make a piece of paper for each one of your pre-approvals, Blake. Okay. Unique to their situation with your team, they can do it. Once you teach them how to do it, they can do it. And then you take a picture of it, Blake, and you text it to them on your, your agent, your buyer on Thursday. And you say, call me to go over this. It says their name. It says, why buy now? 
It has the zeros down the side and this down the other side and a big circle around the 1750 and you text it to your pre-approvals and say, call me to go over this. And then when they call you and go over it, you hang up and you, call, you text the same picture to the agent. And you say, call me to go over this. And the agent calls you. He said, I just want to let you know, I just went over this with John Tober to try to get him to make more offers. I showed him the advantages to buying a house. And I want you to know, I'll start doing it with every one of your clients that you refer me. So I can help them get off their butts and start making some offers. Is that an extra step, Rep? Yep. Would that get you more business? I think it would, Blake. Absolutely. It don't have to be fancy, does it? It don't have to be in our CRM, does it? Nope. What happens is y'all get into the CRM, it gets too confusing for you, so you do nothing. What happens for me when that happens is I grab a piece of paper and a pen and I do it like a kindergartner and then people yeah. get it. So that's what you do on Thursdays this week. You got to stay in touch with your pre-approvals. They came in, they met with you, they gave you all their stuff, and now they're scared to buy. And you need to answer the question, why buy now? The purpose of a pre-approval is to make an offer. The purpose of an offer is a escrow. The purpose of an escrow is a paycheck. And you gotta go step by step through the process with the client to get them to take the next step. The next step. 